The African Union are saying that they want to replace the old Mercator map because it shrinks Africa and makes Europe look much bigger than what it really is. But the people are questioning whether or not it's really what the African Union needs to be focused on right now, considering the big issues on the table, like food insecurity, where 120 million Africans face hunger and the continent is still importing most of its wheat. A youth unemployment crisis with over 53 million young Africans not in work or education, while every year 10 million enter the labour market and only 3 million jobs are created. And then the billions in debt repayments draining national budgets every single day. For context, the Makata map was made for sailors in the 1500s and stretches the north and shrinks the south. And that's why Africa, the second biggest continent on earth, has been drawn small enough to look irrelevant. Coincidence. But in reality, you could fit the US, China, India and most of Europe inside its borders. But replacing maps across schools, embassies and digital systems won't be cheap. Even small projects cost tens of thousands. A continent-wide rollout could run into millions, money that could instead be used to fund regional rail, vocational training for young people, or green energy projects that create real jobs. Here's the strategy point. Symbolic wins matter. They do shift how Africa is seen, but symbols can't replace substance. If I was advising the AU, I'd say back the map with some funds and political weight, but hand the rollout to universities, curriculum bodies or cultural foundations. Let the AU keep its firepower on food, jobs, debt and trade. And to be fair, the AU has done really good work. It launched the African continental free trade area with $3.4 trillion market. It elevated the African CDC during the pandemic and it continues to support peacekeeping missions in Somalia. The question isn't whether or not the AU can act, but whether or not it's putting the energy where Africans need it most. Because the real power isn't making Africa look bigger on paper. It's about making Africa stronger in practice. Let's talk in the comment section. What are your thoughts? Do you think that they're focusing on the right things? Obviously, the map's important, but I want to hear whether or not you think it's a priority. Let's talk.